Hey guys, Vincent back here with another video. Today, I'm super excited because I have a new dripper in my store and I'm gonna share it with everybody. It's the Hario V60 Switch and in this video, I'm gonna discuss why this dripper is the best regardless of your skill level. So, what makes a Switch special? On my right we have the Switch, on my left we have the V60. They're actually the same in terms of the shape, really. The top part's the same, the grooves are the same, the paper filter's the same, but the Switch actually has a smaller opening at the bottom. So the hole's a little bit smaller. And as you can see that their bases are different. This one has this contraption called the Switch, which is where you get the name from, right? But in the middle of it, I don't know if you can see, there's a little ball. And then there's this little thing that kind of pushes the ball up and down. And that's what closes the opening. So we can control how the water flows, when the water flows, which makes it a, either a full immersion or a percolator when you want it to be. Let's discuss why I think this is the best brewer for any skill level. So let's talk about why this is such an easy brewer to start with if you're new to coffee or if you actually never even brewed your first cup of coffee. Generally when we like to brew coffees we like to do ratios between waters to beans and we like to use a 1 to 15. This dripper can actually hold 300 grams of water if you let the water just fill to the top as a full immersion. Which means we can just use two to three large spoons of coffee and you fill to the top. This allows you to not use a scale, you don't even need a grinder, you just need some pre-grounds and a nice spoon. So here we go, we're gonna take one giant spoon, two giant spoons, oh well, half a spoon, and finally I guess it would be two big spoons. In total I use two big spoons. And we're gonna shake it a little bit, and what we're gonna do is we will just pour and fill it to the top. And that's all you really need to do. You can also use any type of kettle, you don't even need a gooseneck kettle, you could use like a triangular one, you could use just a pot of hot water. See how I filled all the way to the top? We're right at the rim. And uh, you give it a quick stir. And once you're done stirring, you press the switch. And watch as it drains. That's how you make a good coffee. So now that it's done dripping, let's just set this aside and taste this coffee. Wow, that's a good cup of coffee. So the difference I can really taste between this and a normal V60 is that maybe it's a little bit lighter in texture. I'm not able to get as heavy of a texture with this technique. You can kind of overcome that if you let it sit in the upper bowl for a little bit longer before you drain it down. But overall, I think it's actually almost as good as my V60, just a little bit lacking the texture. But for all of you that have a little bit more experience with coffee, let me show you a different method. If you guys have watched my other videos before, you'll know I like to pour really slowly in the beginning. And the reason for that is to have a longer, or wait longer before the first drip comes out. This brewer solves all of your problems. When your position is closed, and you have it completely closed, so you tilt it up, make sure it's up, and you brew your coffee in the beginning, you can kind of just pour a little bit fast, even if it's a little bit faster, it's okay. You still want to pour slow because then you can actually saturate all the grinds really, really nicely and get all the gases out as quickly and as gently as possible. But if you don't, you just wait 30 seconds and then you press the device. Unfortunately for those people that do not have a scale, you're going to need one. Let's get this on a scale, zero it off, let's get right into it. We're gonna start with pouring the grinds in. I've weighed out 20 grams of coffees here, okay? Zero that, switch is closed. We're gonna give this a quick stir. I still like to have that perfect filter shape. 90 degree water, we've got ourselves our cabin again, and we're gonna start pouring. We're gonna start with a really, really slow pour. I've started the timer, and 
just as we expect, nothing comes out. So everything up to the 30 second mark will be the same. I pour really slowly, nice and gently, making sure all the grinds are being pushed out. We're at 30 seconds now. So I'm just gonna start and I'm just gonna push this and you're gonna see the coffee grinds, are gonna, or the coffee's gonna start brewing out. Now we're gonna continue pouring all the way to the 300 grams. We're just gonna finish it off. We're at 300, we're gonna give it a quick stir. Bam, you're done your coffee. So with this technique, we finished at the two minute mark, which is what I always say for advanced brewers, my ideal brewing time. We're gonna set this aside, and we're gonna do another taste test. We're just gonna pour it in, move that out of the way. And let's move the scale out of the way too, actually. Yeah. Still a great cup of coffee. It's a lot more like my V60 technique, but with a nice sweetness and even thicker texture. So this technique really just helps in creating the optimal flavors by having a longer first drip, but not too long because you still want to have the complexity. And then pouring a little bit slower allows you to have that richer texture that you're looking for. Overall though, I really, really, love this brewer. This device is just simply amazing. Whether it's for noobs or for pros, you can make a great cup of coffee very easily or you can enhance your current brewing technique. So for all the noobs out there, get this dripper. For all the pros out there, get this dripper. Realistically though, like jokes aside, guys, no matter how, what your skill level, this is probably one of the best stripper. If you don't have a V60 or if you're looking to get a new V60, if you have it open, it acts as a V60 anyways. So you might as well get this stripper because it can actually enhance your brews. And if you're new to coffee, this is just a paper French press that allows you to transition into a pro's world where you can do V60s or pour overs as we call them. And then you can use my new technique, which is like half an immersion, and the rest is a pour over. You can find this dripper on our website, tailscoffee.com. Today I used the cabin coffee. Uh, it has a nice, rich flavor. It's kind of like a Reese's Pieces in my opinion, with a nice, heavy, kind of earthy flavor to kind of replicate the moment of being in a cabin and being with your friends. Really sweet coffee. You can also find this in our website. Uh, there's a link in the description below. Just feel free to click that to go there. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, Leave it down there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.